Hi everyone, in this video you're going to learn how to plot linear graphs. So, when you go to plot linear graphs, you first need to make a table, afterwards you need to plot the points, and then you are able to draw a graph. Let's have a look at an example. Plot the graph of y equals minus half x plus 3. Your first step is to state the independent and dependent variables. So, when we have a look at y equals minus a half x plus 3, we know that y is a dependent variable and x is the an independent variable. That is because I can fill in any number for x and that depends what the answer is going to be. So that's our y. So that really depends on what we fill in for x. Step two is to make a table with, with at least three points. The minimum amount of points that you need is two. However, to really make sure that you do exactly correct and that you do not have any calculation mistakes, I really advise you to make a table with at least three points. So, I'm going, just going to choose x equals zero, two and four. Since those are the independent variables, I need to put them uh, up in my table and I can choose whichever number I like. Since we have a half over here, I make my number 0, 2 and 4 to make sure that my half disappears. When I'm going to fill it in, so 0, I would get y equals minus a half times 0 plus 3 which is 3. If I'm going to fill in 2, I get minus a half times 2, which is minus 1, plus 3, so I get 2. And when I fill in 4, I get minus a half times 4, which is minus 2, plus 3, which is 1. So, our third step was to calculate the points in our table we just did. And then our step four is to plot the points. You can only plot points in a set of x's. Please remember that you must always write down a y and an x. So you really must label your set of x's. As you can see over here, each time we add two, and then underneath each time we add 1. So that means that we have a linear graph. So the first point is 0, 2. So 0, 2. Our second point is 2, 3. So we go 2 on our x-axis and 3 on our y-axis. And then our last point is 4, 4. So 4 on our x-axis and 4 on our y-axis. Step 5 is to connect the points using a straight line. We need to extend this line. Please remember that a line is infinite. So it means that it goes on and on and on. And therefore we must extend the line through those points. And this is how you need to draw a graph. Uh, important is that when you have a graph, multiple graphs in one set of axes, that you must label your graph. That means that you must write down on your uh, graph y equals minus a half x plus 3 so then you're completely done if you have any questions please let us know